see, Caesars Sportsbook app. Oh, <laughs> hello, sports fans and football fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, I got my week four picks for you. So you're asking, hey, Sportsman, how did you do last week? Well, here are the final stats. I was 10 and six in week three, and I'm 32 and 16 on the 2021 football, big football season. Yeah, well, all right, 10 and six, it's not as good as 11 and five, which I was the first two weeks, each of the first two weeks. So, you know, we will take it for what it is which is, it was a, a good week. So, without any further delay, let's get into the picks. Number 30th, and it's going to start with the Bengals at home over the, the Jags, and that's exactly what the pick is going to be. It's going to be the Bengals at home over the Jaguars. <laughs> No, we're, we're not going with the Jaguars. We are going with the Bengals because the Bengals are looking somewhat decent, at least like they have a pulse. Well, the Jaguars are still, I think Urban Meyer is still trying to figure that team out while he looks over the USC job. So now that is going to take us to the Sunday games because that's the Thursday game out of the way. And you have... The Jets hosting the Titans. And guess what? <laughs> yeah, the Jets are off again. And they are going to lose, I'm going to say, to the Titans. And also, by the way, I want to take this, uh, this break in the action here after we have just determined that the Jets are going to lose to the Titans to tell you that my roommate from college, Mike Buclo, sent me a bunch of Jets helmets so that I will never be out of Jets helmets. Although, as much as I throw the Jets, you would think maybe at some point I will be out of them. But I want to thank Mike for sending those along. And, um, yeah, I mean, you know, because I, I need my helmets. And the Jets, they get thrown every week. So... Until they can prove that they're a semi-decent team. And that may be a while away. And by a while, I'm saying, you know, maybe 2024. So anyway, enough about the Jets. Because, hey, we don't want to talk about bad teams here. Let's get on to talking, though, about another potentially two bad teams. And that is the Bears and the Lions, who are both... Not impressing anybody this year so far. Now, the Lions did have a heartbreaking loss last week to Baltimore when Justin Tucker hit a 66-yard field goal on the very last play of the game. And, of course, the Bears just got trounced by the Browns. But I'm still going to go with the Bears in this one. I'm going with the Bears here only because... It's Detroit, and, uh, you know, Detroit seems to have terrible luck. I mean, who allows a 66-yard field goal? The Detroit Lions. And also, the Bears are at home, so I'm going to take the Bears at home. I'm going to hope that Nagy has figured out a better game plan than last week's game plan, which was, let's just go get our asses kicked by the team we're playing. I think he's probably going to try to come up with a better game plan this week. So that brings us to the Dolphins hosting the Colts. Now, we know that Tua is out and that um, he has his backup playing. The guy that they got from the Colts, whose uh, name I always forget, but he was pretty good last week. And we've seen that the Colts have just continued their slide. And guess what? The Colts are going to continue their slide. I am going with the Dolphins in this one. Take the Dolphins over the Colts. 
I think they're going to definitely um, win that game. Brissett, that's the guy. Brissett is now the new Dolphins quarterback, and he's doing a bang-up job. So the next one we have is the Vikings are at home against the Browns. You know what? Common knowledge with all the Browns have done this year says take the Browns. But no, I'm going with the Vikings. I'm going with the Vikings at home. They showed a little spunk last week, and I'm thinking maybe they can get, you know, kind of, you know, hit a little bit of a, a roll here. And, uh, and they're at home. And uh, really, the Browns, they really didn't look all that impressive against the Bears. I mean, they beat the Bears, but as badly as the Bears played, anybody would have beat them. So the next one we have is Atlanta is hosting the Washington football team. And in this one, I'm going to go with the Washington football team over the Atlanta Falcons. I'm just not really impressed with Matt Ryan and the Falcons this year. And really is anybody. So uh, the next one we've got are the Bills are going to host, host the Texans. And, uh, <laughs> right. No, I think we're going with the Bills in this one. Uh, the Texans are a mess. They are playing that guy, what's his name? Um, Mason Mills, something Mills, Jack Mills. I don't know what his name is, but he's not very good, whoever he is. So we're going to go with the Bills in that one. The Bills are, you know, going to contend for the AFC title, I think and probably win the AFC East. So the next one we're going to is um, the Saints are at home and they're hosting the Giants. And the Giants, it's another New York team that is just a really stinking mess. Let's go with the Saints in this one. Although the Saints have done their own little version of Jekyll and Hyde through the first three weeks of the season. But the Giants have just been Mr. Hyde. And they've been a poor man's Mr. Hyde. So, yeah, let's go with the Saints in that one. Uh, the next one we have is the Eagles are at home and they're hosting the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, the Chiefs have lost a little bit of their luster and we know that the Eagles are good up front. They got a good defense and they're home. But I'm still going to go out on a little bit of a limb here. And I'm going to take Kansas City and the Mahomes, Kansas City Chiefs to beat the Eagles. I just got a good feeling about that. Um, I just think it's, you know, the Chiefs sooner or later, they got to show themselves to be the Chiefs of the last two years rather than the Chiefs of the first three games of this season. Uh, so the next one we have is the Cowboys are at home against the Panthers and I am going to go with the Panthers here. Yeah, we're taking the Panthers because you know what? The Panthers got a great defense, even though they're missing McCaffrey. I know that missing McCaffrey is not the greatest thing. You don't want that to happen to you, but darn old, he has shown that um, he is doing really well away from the bright lights of New York and, um, well, and a much better team that he's on. And he is, uh, you know, and even without McCaffrey, he's got some other weapons on that team. And, uh, you know, and Dallas, Dallas has been all over the board. So let's, let's do that. Let's go with Carolina in that one. Uh, next one we've got the Niners are at home against the Seattle Seahawks and guess what I'm gonna go with the Niners I'm going with the Niners at home because really the Seahawks have kind of let me down they have not been the dominant team many player what many people expected and uh, yeah they're not nearly as good as uh, I was thinking that they could be and uh, the Niners have shown that they're a lot better then they, I mean, they should have beaten, they could have beaten Green Bay if they had just hung on and not let Rodgers get into, what was it, field goal range? Field goal range with 37 seconds left. So otherwise they win that game, but they didn't. 
but they could have. And so I think that's going to translate to a win against Seattle at home. Uh, the next one we have is the Rams are at home against the Cardinals. And, you know, now the new Matthew Stafford Rams, you have to be crazy to pick against them. I'm going to go with the Rams in this one. They're at home at SoFi Stadium. I'm going to take the Rams in that game. Then you've got, oh, yeah, yeah, baby. You've got... The homecoming for Mr. Tom Brady. Coming back to New England to take on his old team, the Patriots. And guess what? Yeah, he's going to win. He's going to beat the Patriots. Sorry, Bell, Bill Belichick. Yeah. Let's take the Buccaneers in this one. Patriots just don't have what it takes to beat um, the Brady-led Buccaneers. The next game we have, the Packers are at home taking on the Steelers. And to borrow a phrase from Dennis Green, the Steelers are who we thought they were. We played them in the third game. Everybody played three quarters. The Bears are who we thought they were. And that's why we took the damn field. And we thought they were garbage. And they are. So I'm going to go with the Pack to beat the Steelers. I don't know what Ben Roethlisberger is doing up there, but whatever it is, he better think of something different to do, like maybe work for UPS. Because being the quarterback of the Steelers isn't working out real well for him this year. Now we've got the Broncos are at home against the Ravens. And you know what? I'm going to ride the high wave here, and I'm going to stay with the Broncos. I've been high on the Broncos. I think I've picked them every week, and they've made me 3-0 and so far in their games. And so we are going to stick with the Broncos against the Ravens. The Ravens, yeah, they beat Detroit, but they beat them with a 66-yard field goal in the last second of the game. If you got to beat Detroit with a last-second field goal of 66 yards, no less, I, you know. I don't see you beating many good teams, that's for sure. And now the last game, this is the Monday night, October 4th game, and this is going to be the Chargers at home against the Raiders. Now this is where I'm going to go against the grain, because you would think, okay, I'm riding the, Bron the Broncos train, I'm going to get on the Raiders train too, but no, I'm not. I'm going to go to the Chargers, because the Chargers are at home, and the Raiders had to go into overtime to beat whoever it was that they beat last week. But I rec the Dolphins, they beat the Dolphins last week. But they had to do it in overtime against the Dolphins' second-string quarterback. So that's not really going to instill all the confidence in the world in you. And the Chargers beat the Chiefs. So, you know, that's... That's the, that's the direction we're going to go in. So, those are my picks. What did you guys think? Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think the picks for week four are going to be. Or if you just want to leave the ones that where you differ with me, which, you know, could be 16 of them. Um, let me know that, too. But for right now, that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm signing off.